This video is to demonstrate how to do a title block uh, swap with the swap update block. What I've done is I've added some additional information for sheet and sheet number right here. First thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that my title block setup is set up for this additional information. So I'm going to go here to projects and I'm going to do a title block setup. We're going to use the very first method and the very first option and we're going to edit that. We already have some things applied here, but now what we need to do is we need to go over here and apply it for the sheet number and maximum sheets. That is located right here. I can do a pick and say that I want this one for the sheet. I want this one right here for the maximum number of sheets. And now I have that information located right here. As soon as I say OK, it now updates this WDT. Now it has that information in it. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to save this and close it so that we can now go over to our original drawing. This is the drawing that is located right here. It does not have that additional information right here, but we want to supply that into our drawing. This is uh, a, a common process of the title block needing to be updated with additional data uh, that was not available on the original title block. You can modify the drawing that's used for the title block and then update it or swap update it in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the swap update block and we're going to use this option of update block substitute new version for selected block. I'll say update block. We'll say OK. We select the block and it will show us that we already have a drawing set up in this path for that title block. I'm going to say that I want to do the active drawing only, but if I did project, it would update every single drawing in the project using that block. We'll say active drawing, and at that point you can see that we have the additional information right here. Now we can come over here and do a title block update. What we want to do is we want to specify the sheet information. If I put a value of 101 here, it would be 101 of 1. But I'm going to do 1 of 1 for right now. At that point, I can select the drawing, say OK, and at that point you can see that it supplies 1 of 1. So I actually added these additional attributes to the title block by doing a swap update by modifying the original drawing used for these title blocks.